So what are the best video dimensions for Instagram? Because it's a bit of a minefield out there and there's lots to choose from. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through all the different options so that you can choose the one that works best for you. It's coming up. Hey everyone, Steve here from Learn Online Video and today we're talking all about video dimensions on Instagram because it can get very confusing. There's a lot to choose from. You've got your main feed, Instagram stories, IGTV, what video dimension works best where. Well, in this video, we're gonna be covering all the dimensions across the entire platform so that you can choose the dimension that works best for you and start creating better content. Okay, so let's start off with your main feed on Instagram. What dimensions can you upload when it comes to video? Well, a really popular one is 16.9 or 19.20 by 10.80. Okay, so let's just talk a little bit more about this 16.9 widescreen ratio and why it's so popular. Now, the reason that a lot of videos are in this dimension, the same as the dimension that you're watching here in this video, is that generally this is how your camera will shoot. Whether you're filming on a mobile phone or a more professional camera, this 16.9 widescreen ratio is generally how you will record your footage. So the natural tendency is to shoot in that dimension and then upload in that dimension. Now another reason that this dimension is so popular is that it allows you to tell a better story, get more information across because you've got lots of screen to play with. Now there is a downside when it comes to shooting and uploading this 16-9 ratio to Instagram. And the big downside is that when it comes to screen size and how much of the screen that video is gonna fill up, in comparison to other video dimensions that Instagram have to offer, you're gonna be filling up the least amount of your screen. So when people are scrolling through their feed, your video isn't gonna look as big in comparison to other videos. So how else can we increase our video size on the main feed of Instagram. Well, another really good dimension is square or one by one or 1080 by 1080. Now for a number of years, the square format was the only video dimension that Instagram offered. So everybody's video was square, but now we do have different options. Now let's just talk about one of the downsides to this square format. And this is a problem that I come across almost on a weekly basis when it comes to editing footage. And that is that normally footage, as I've mentioned, is shot in the 16-9 widescreen ratio, but then people are looking to upload their video in a square format on Instagram. And the big problem with this, of course, is that when you take a 16-9 dimensioned video and upload it square, ultimately you're chopping off either side of that image. So you're losing a lot of information. Equally, if you've shot that video with that 16.9 dimension in mind, you would have framed all of your shots with that dimension in mind. So then when you upload it into that square dimension, all of your framing and all of your composition has been ruined. And sometimes this isn't a problem. Maybe you've got a talking head video just like this one here, in which case losing the left and right hand side of that video isn't a big deal. But if you've gone out and you've shot some kind of cinematic sequence in a nice widescreen ratio, and then you upload it in a square dimension, you're gonna be chopping off either side of that video and your framing, your composition, it's all gonna be off and it's just not gonna look right. So you may have to re-edit your videos and upload them in this square format. But by far the best way of doing this, if you can, is to shoot with your end dimension in mind. So look, if you know that you're gonna be uploading a square video to Instagram, then try and shoot using that square format. If you've got grids on your camera, enable them. This will help you to frame and compose your shot better. And this will ultimately mean you're not gonna be sacrificing the left and right hand side of your image when it comes to uploading this video to Instagram. But how can we make our videos even bigger on Instagram? How can we fill up the most amount of screen possible? Well, fast becoming my favorite video dimension on Instagram is four by five. This is gonna fill up the most amount of screen possible when it comes to your video. Many of the big creators are using this dimension for exactly that reason. It makes your video stand out. But what are the downsides to uploading in this four by five ratio? Well, again, look, if you've shot your footage in 16, nine, 
widescreen, but you're now trying to upload a four by five video, you're gonna be chopping off the left and right hand side of that video. So always try to make sure, if you can, to shoot with your final dimension in mind. And look, if you need any tips on framing and composition, because this is by far one of the quickest, cheapest, easiest ways to improve the look of your videos, then I've got a video that covers four framing and composition techniques. I'll link it up there and I'll put it in the description of this video. Okay, so we've covered 16, nine square and four by five. These are the three main video dimensions that Instagram offer on the main feed. But what about Instagram TV and Instagram stories. Okay, so if we're coming at this purely from a filling up the most amount of screen possible, making your video look as big as possible when it comes to uploading to Instagram stories or IGTV, by far the best dimension is vertical video or 1080 by 1920. This is gonna fill up all of the screen. That's not to say that you can upload 169 videos or square videos, but when you do this, you kind of have the opposite effect to cropping your video on the main feed. And that is that you're now gonna be left with gaps at the top and the bottom of your video. Now, this isn't the end of the world. You can, of course, fill these with text or graphics or something like that, but it's definitely something worth keeping in mind when it comes to uploading to stories or IGTV. I hope you found this video useful. I hope that clears things up. If it did, let me know, give it the old thumbs up. And if you'd like to watch more content like this, learn more about video production, then you can do that by watching one of the videos over there. But that's it from me. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.